All right, guys, we're starting off today with a merch shout out for Mr. Garrett Lennox. He got the hamburger logo shirt, the brass bottle opener, which I'm using to open this red stripe in just a moment, the sure I'll have a drink shirt, and the jump cut shirt. Wow. What a legendary order, bro. That's like a whole week of threads. If you re wear some stuff. Yeah. Cue the intro. <laughs> Friday, suckers. Welcome to Bruin Review. When I Cheers. get on the internet, I'm watching Bruin Review. Hey, Corey, I feel like I'm on vacation. Yeah, you better believe it. You are. You just went to the land of Jamaica. What are we drinking? With the Red Stripe, oh. buddy boy. <laughs> Since 1928, Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Mm. You're basically drinking human. <laughs> I wonder if people in Jamaica drink this. I wonder if people will have found this out by now. I wonder if people in Italy actually drink Peroni. Do people in Mexico drink Corona? I hope that in Mexico they drink Bud Light, in Jamaica they drink Natty Light, <laughs> and in Italy they drink Bush Light. Bush Light. <laughs> Me too. And then here we drink all theirs. Yeah, because we think we're cultured. <laughs> but very easy drinking. The stubby bottles are fun. This is like, I feel like a good six pack if you go to a party and you drop this on the counter of like, hey, I brought red stripes. Everyone's like, oh yeah, that's cool. Right? Like nobody ever buys and this beer. Is this a four pack? It's a six pack. Sixer? Mm hmm. Yeah, dude, you could probably. You can bathe. I think you can drink a whole six of these and not even get a dewy. Well, don't we do not endorse <laughs> trying that unless you move to Florida. Just kidding. Yeah, and we learned. <laughs> Call back. And then, wow, uh, this looks like health food. But uh, Corey, what are we eating today? Yeah. So what do we got? This is home run pizzas. Home run in, Tommy. Home run <laughs> in deluxe. That has sausage, fire roasted onion, wow. green, and red peppers, plus uncured pepperoni. Give me them diseases. Don't yeah. cure me for a second. None. I ain't Lazarus. Nope. I don't want to hit me disease. I don't want to. I don't want any syringes in me. Nothing. I'm good. You want me to be cured of something? Nah, dude. <laughs> Uncure me, as a matter of fact. Um, I think it's funny that they have to say fire roasted onions. Like, is there a true? difference in flavor between like pan sauteing them and letting fire do yeah, it. Yeah, I would think fire would be worst. I yeah. want the pan. I don't want all the smoke from the What are you doing it like a s'more? It just sounds like they're trying to be fancy and I'm already a little upset. Freaking frozen pizza, dude. I don't care if it's your 75th anniversary. Get out of town. No, nobody cares. Um, all right, well, I guess it's time to eat it. This thing a little thicker, once you pick it up, then you kind of think. Oh. It looks like it's thin crust. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn, dude, you gotta be, this thing is piping hot. Here's a trick. When you pick your pizza up, don't lean it aside Sideways and pull it up that way. Oh yeah! Like watch, because the crust holds it all on. That there. is so very so, so, so you just smart. Like, straight up, wow! Why doesn't this work? All right, here, look at this. Is what the slice of za looks like if you're into close-ups. All right, I'm a little worried about this pizza to be honest. I would be too. I don't think this is going to be that good. And this thing was nine dollars and forty-nine cents. Ridiculous. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, a bunch of stuff on a home run in pizza. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's not as bad as I thought it should be, but I don't know. I like peppers though. Oh yeah, I love I love me some peppers. I don't get that flavor much on pizza, so I, I kind of am into it. Yeah. I wouldn't get this regularly. I don't know if I'd spend the 10 bucks on it, probably not. This isn't bad. Mm -mm. Sometimes there's those people that when you get a frozen pizza, they want vegetables on it. And here's one way to excite them. Then also you get your meats. Home Run M has such a unique style. It's like cracker thin on the crust, but they really pile the cheese and toppings on it. It's like thick. The toppings, are more than the bread. And then their crust almost feels like the end of it. Like it's completely different from the rest of the pizza. It's so hard mm -hmm. and crunchy and like almost its own thing. It's rock hard, dude. It's so, it's like a very interesting pizza. Like I, I don't, Home Run In is unlike any other like thin crust in Chicago. Put a little, I'm gonna doctor this one up. I'm only following the directions of my second butthole. Yeah. Who's telling me, more red peppers. That's Feed not me. how it sounds. Spice me. Hey, Gory, it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Give me some more red pepper. What are all these vegetables? It gets mad. It starts hurting more when you feed it healthy food. You think I toss a tomato? <laughs> you should see my second butthole, dude. <laughs> that thing will hit Indiana. Yeah, bro. Can you give me sixer sauce? I'm busy. Whoa. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Smoking like a true fat ass. Yeah. Mid bite. Don't talk to me all I'm busy. Hey, Gory, see you in 20. 
go. Here we go. Come on. Ooh, I'm getting low. That's where the best sixer sauce is. I like better. the way you commentate when you like put stuff on your pizza. Like kind of talking like a lower voice. You're always like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm getting low. I'm very. I, food is very sensual to me. Yeah, so, celebrate here. That's how I got my second hole. <laughs> Gross. I don't mind this, but I wouldn't say that I'm like super enjoying this. It just kind of is like a lot that doesn't need to exist. I love onion and peppers. Like I like mom's pizza. My hang up isn't as much the flavor or experience as it is the $10 price tag. I know. I'm enjoying it, mm -hmm. but I'm not obsessed. Like $10, I need to be like really into your flavor. I know. I need to be obsessing. I'm not obsessing. The peppers and onions creates a little bit of a wateriness on top of the pizza. And there were a couple bites on that slice mm. that just felt a little like wet. diluted. Yeah. Like it kind of watered down the flavor of the cheese and the sauce. And so I don't love that. Mm -hmm. One of our most like viewed videos is the Chicago local. It was the very first time we ever did Lumalnati's. And we got a pizza with like a ton of, we got like the Supreme. So it had the peppers mm -hmm. and onions, and it was there was like literally Lake Michigan on top. I remember that. I hated that. And I think that happens a lot with these vegetables when they're not like properly like you have to really like for at home you'll always lay out vegetables and like really pat them down. With paper I always towel do that to almost like dehydrate them yeah. so it doesn't happen. And I think sometimes when they're working so quickly, there's going to be water that kind of comes out of those cooking. Yep. And Even a little the bit cooking of that. process it always comes out. Right. So there's a little bit of that going on. That's kind of why. I love vegetables, I really do. Like I'll eat them all day. But that's kind of why I always get meat pizzas for frozen pizza. Cause there's none of that wateriness. It's like just such a risk factor. Like why take that risk? Like I know it's like a really random <laughs> thing to break down, but I, that's truly where my mindset goes. Hey, you guys better enjoy the science you're getting today. You know, do I need to put on a lab coat for y'all? Is that is that one credit towards your your schooling? Probably. One credit. I get a I don't know how email works. from uh, University of Phoenix online. One credit for you. We saw your video. You're there. Oh, I don't know how good, I feel. Dude. Ugh, scratches out, dude. Uh, I just, just gotta, gotta take some pressure off my second beat. Does it hurt for if you like really widen your legs? Yeah, I can't do it. It'll rip the hole open. Oh, right. I'm trying to get that guy's mouth shut. Hey, he keeps. Oh, oh, oh. And I keep bending over to pick things up and. Just, after a week from now, it's gonna be like, oh God, what the hell? I can't go. Hey, shut up! You're taking my freedom of speech away. First Amendment why? I'm gonna open up. First Amendment why? You're gonna get drunk one night and do something stupid, and I'm gonna come scream it out. The stories from Corey's second butthole. Yeah. All right. Do you feel like you have enough information to rate this thing on a thumbs up or thumbs down basis, Corey? <laughs> I do, I do. I'm gonna preface my decision, because I know what it is, that this is a time and place, okay. and it's for a very small amount of people. I just saw you spit on your arm. I'm not gonna let that slide. I was hoping you didn't see it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna let that slide. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, Eric McCluskey, on the <laughs> drum roll please on the count of three, I'm gonna say that. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked, you enjoyed, but the main thing is, oh, oh, oh. Should, should you guys think the Sixers should buy for almost 10 bucks after tax this pizza, the Deluxe from Home Run In? Deluxe. Are you ready? Yeah. Ho oh, oh. oh! Only if you really want onions and gravy. This is probably the only place you can get that. Yeah. That's the, the time and place. If you're like, man, I really want, I love onions and green pepper, and I really want it on a frozen pizza. You literally don't have any choice, so I have to say this. Right. But other than that, I wouldn't. It's yeah, it just didn't do a lot for me. Guy. It's definitely a like a thing that if you want that. I also think like this is like I said earlier in the video, if you're like you really like meat, but somebody you're with, you're seeing if another or something's like, well, yeah, I want a little bit of health on it. It's kind of a good like meal ground. You're still yeah. eating frozen pizza. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you got some veggies. Hey Corey, there's any leftovers? Just throw it in down here. Just spitting the onions out. <laughs> hey, they're diluted! All right, guys, we'll see you very soon, uh, Monday, for a brand new episode of the show. We appreciate each and every one of you for being here, for all the Brewing Review fun. Uh, Red Stripe, always solid, always solid. And if you've gotten any beer recommendations, hit us with those. Unless the Mickeys come back. Then we're doing those. And we're doing those. Because they're out of stock. They're out of stock. That's how much our videos have cleaned Influenced. out the Mickeys inventory yeah. in the city. We influenced. We're influencers. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every like and subscribe helps me getting closer to my second butthole healing. Please do it. A question for you guys. What is your favorite vegetable to put on a pizza? Is it onion? Is it green pepper? Is it banana pepper? Is it mushrooms? Is it... Uh, question. I'm out. Yes. Are potatoes plants? Are potatoes plants? Is it a vegetable? It's not a vegetable, no. no you, okay. you know that. I would. <laughs> Look at your hair. You know that, bro. Look at all those freckles. Come on. That's a good point. You guys get ridiculous. <laughs> sure! Comment that, we'll comment ours. How are the Irish for just, you take one crap away and they all just die? We were so upset.
It was more of a depression. To AJ Lubecker, or not AJ Lubecker, oh, AJ Lacour's bit. Oh, that's good.